G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. I haven't really done a um, fairy flower for a while. I know you've been seeing them, but you know, I did so many about a month ago, um, three, four weeks ago, and I had so many to put up. So that's why you're sort of seeing one every couple of, of weeks, but I haven't really done one for a while. So I want to try again. Um, now this one's going to be kind of a half half between a fairy flower and the fantasy flower that I've been doing with the um, just puddles and some metallic um, I'm trying to remember to link one of my fantasy flowers at the end of the video for you now this is just my white it's my bloom white pigment paste I will link that for you as well if you want it um, you can get it from my eBay store in Australia or you can also buy it through US Amazon um, and from there it pretty much ships worldwide so you can get it anywhere I think <laughs> all right I'm gonna pop that in there so today I have got some turquoise some copper and some purple the colors I'm wanting to use um, and a little bit of coppery glitter to match with that I think that'll look nice. So in this little cup here, I've got some swimming pool resin ink from Octopus Fluids. It's a little bit on the green side, so I'm going to add a couple of drops of this Jeans from Octopus Fluids. It's a resin ink. Let's add a couple of drops of that and hopefully we'll get like a, a teal. Hopefully. I just want like a slight bluey green aquary color because once you've mixed the white or well, the white dots in it there you go how pretty is that <laughs> you can you can mix your colors to make whatever color shade that you want so i think that's pretty um, and then this one is my pearl x super bronze i'm just gonna put a tiny bit i've only got like a teensy bit of resin in there hardly any um, and i'm just going to do a little bit a little tiny bit that's it just a tiny bit of the bronze because it's not a very large amount of resin either now what I'm hoping to do with the bronze this time because I'm using the cascade mold this is my cascade mold to me it looks as if it's ca um, fabric cascading over the edges so that's why I called it cascade I will link it for you as well if you want this mold it's been extremely popular all right, so that's my bronze. Make sure that you mix it really well so that you don't have little bits of dry powder anywhere. So with this one, I, I just want the bronze to kind of just go in the tips. When you mold, when you unmold it, I just want them in the tips, but it'll probably go around the edge, but anyway. Um, this one is my purple, Aronia. So those are my colors. It's quite dark, but it's still still transparent that one last time I used Aronia um, it didn't really show up at all this swimming pool one took over so I added a couple of extra drops all right so that's my white um, and we'll get started I'll just do that get my little paper towel organized and my skizzers now I'm going to put a tiny little bit of resin in there for this. Whoops, I just put a, put a little bit in there. Just a tiny bit and you just basically want to make a paste with it. If you've got any left over, um, you can make little dots with um, leftover from this um, and then you can place them in the centers. So it's really handy. Just put the, I just put them on a piece of plastic. So, yep, that's what I do. I've seen other people starting to do that as well, so that's good. Glad my ideas are filtering through to you guys. <laughs> All right, now, um, the bronze. So this is what I want to do. I just want, if I can, just put a little bit of bronze. I kind of just want it in these. I want it to go down into these little chambers here so that when you unmold their the bra the bronzes in the tips I don't know whether it'll stay like that it may just all move away but I'm hoping that a little bit will stay 
So you don't need a lot, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Hopefully that's enough. All right, so the next thing I want to do is I want to put this tealy colour in, like so. Now I'm using the Platinum Super Clear. It's a two to one resin. It's, I guess, kind of the viscosity as the Platinum 360 Plus, but the Super Clear has got a longer work time. So it doesn't flash cure like the 360 plus does if I'm doing a deeper pour. And this is a deeper pour, so a deeper mold. So I just have to be careful. Um, I've also got it on my little trivet and here, it's sitting on my trivet, see? Um, so yeah, just to stop it from flash curing. I forgot to add that. I want to put some purple in my mm, little purple. Yeah, let's put purple in. Just put two purples, two purples, two drops of purple in there. And that's going to be for my push. You can have it any colour you want. You've seen me do white, you've seen me do clear, you've seen me do black. So now I've got purple. It's getting a bit warm. All right, here we go. We're going to pour the purple in now. Like so. Into the centre. So anyway, as I was saying, I'm using the Platinum Super Clear. I did mix up a little bit more for the green than I did for the purple because, uh, you know, the green is on the outside. And the total I mixed up was 130 grams of part A, 55 grams of part B, and that should be enough to fill up my Cascade mould. So after I finished stirring... Uh, I put the resin in my vacuum chamber just to get some of the bubbles out. Um, and then by the time I did that and I waited a bit and then I started measure, like decanting. Now I'm going to do, I'm going to do dots. You can see where my, my dots are. I'm starting just from the inside of that metallic there. Um, so yeah, I... I decanted, um, measured all my resins out into my little cups, added the colours and things like that. So, and then I started to started the video. So all that took me about 20, 20 minutes, and then I started the video. So I think it's probably been about looking at the clock. It's probably about twenty five minutes now that it's been, and my resin has started to thicken. I like it to be thick, the resin to be on the thicker side, um, just so that when you're doing your dots, they don't all drop to the bottom, um, and then you get like these flat, splattered petals because the whites just drop straight down. So if you if your resin is really thick, maybe you're over in the US at the moment. I'm just going to leave that for now, and I'm going to pull my push in. If you're in the US at the moment and you're using something like Art Pro, then um, it's pretty it's pretty thick. Maybe I didn't mix up enough. It's pretty thick, the Art Pro, um, especially over there in the US. I think it's still quite warm, isn't it? Um, so you probably don't need to wait for it to thicken like I'm doing. Probably just need to, to pour it. Just cleaning up my mess. Probably just need to wait to pour it. Um, you don't need to wait to pour it. Sorry, um, I can't talk and concentrate at the same time. Oh, gosh. All right, so now those are my dots in there now. Now, what I want to do, I want to try this. I want to do some circles and try and push those dots that I've just done into the center if I can. Hopefully my mould won't over. Oh no, it's the side amount. I was forgetting I had to add all this. Let's see if I can push my white into the centre. Do a few more little dots. It's going to use up all my white. Hopefully these dots won't sink. So yeah, as I was saying, I'm getting distracted. 
I was waiting for my resin to thicken so that um, you know I'd get pretty shaped petals rather than just flat splattered petals uh, which will happen if your resin's too thin it's the same same sort of idea as a 3d bloom you know if you if you the resin's too thin your white's just going to go straight down drop to the base and uh, you'll get blobby so same with these make sure that if you're doing it you're using a thicker resin and you should be okay hopefully hopefully you should be okay all right i'm just going to use all of that up all right there we go okay that's done so now I'm going to wait and see if this will close up a little bit for me. Um, it will close, like over the next 20 minutes or so, it will close a little bit more. But um, I'm just going to wait before I put my glitter in and see if it will close a little bit more. So I'll just get these off. Now I'll do my little torch trick that I've shown you a few times. I'll get you down so that you can see. If you don't like flashing lights, look away. I know some people don't. So we can see in there. I can just I can see to the bottom of the mold. Can't really see that it's closed up. So we'll give it. We'll give it 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, something like that. I'll come back and uh, we'll see what it's doing. And then if need be, we'll suck the middle out and put our glitter in. Okay, see you then. Right, so I've come to check it. And again, look away if you don't want to see flashing lights. And you can see there that my dots have dropped. <laughs> you can see there's a little bit hanging onto the top and then there's this like a waterfall and then a splat at the bottom. So it doesn't usually do that. I did torch though with my big torch. Maybe I, I thinned the resin too, too much and it's fallen down. So because it's hit the white has hit the bottom there on the mold, it's not going to move. It's only going to move if, you know, it's suspended in the resin and the resin is moving. So it's not going to move. So I am going to... There we go, pop you back up there. I'm going to get my syringe and I'm going to suck some of that resin out in the centre there and hopefully it will close. But yeah, it's um, it's probably not going to work the way I was hoping. But look, when you're trying something new, you know, it doesn't always work and sometimes you have to try, try things a few times to, to get a new idea to work. I mean, it may not ever work, but anyway, we'll see. So I'm going to stick my syringe down. I'm going to hit the bottom. I'm going to lift it up just a tiny little bit, just a millimeter or so, because I really want to suck the bottom. So that's just all purple coming out. And I'll just squirt it into my cup. And again, sorry if you can't see, but I need to hold it straight down touch the bottom lift it up a couple of mil and pull now the top has closed not really still very very transparent in there so I need to go a little bit more I need to go again because there's not a lot of white coming out in that syringe so we'll go again touch the bottom lift up a tiny bit pull so that's three that's 30 grams that's one ounce a little bit more um, opaque there now I think there's more white in that one so I'll, I'll leave it at that I don't want to take too much out let's go down and have a look and see if we can see what's going on sometimes it's a little bit hard to see certainly with a naked eye if you shine the torch sometimes you can see what's going on in there I can't really see but it looks as if it's closed up but look I won't know so it looks pretty <laughs> I won't know until I unmold but yeah I think I I think I destroyed my dots by um 
overheating it. The resin thinned, the white sank. So I may have to do it again. But anyway, wish me luck. We'll see what happens once this is unmolded, eh? I forgot my glitter, you guys. I forgot to put my glitter in. Let's do the glitter. There's only a tiny bit. Just see if we can drop it into the centre. And you can see the resin's getting really thick now. It doesn't want to sink. I only made up a little bit because I don't want to have a huge glittery centre. I, I don't really like the glitter too much in the centre. If it's a small amount, I can deal with it, but I don't want a huge, big blob in the centre. So I only made up a little bit. And I just... Push it down. Hopefully, hopefully that will look pretty. All right, now I can go. <laughs> I've got to clean out my syringe with my isopropyl alcohol so that I can use it again. Okay, it has cured and it's ready to unmold. So let's have a little look. I'm not very confident about it, just between you and me. Yeah, because it had a big clear centre. <laughs> but anyway, we shall have a look, hey? Let's move that mould off to the side. All right. Oh, I can see a lot of clear, clear turquoise there. Okay. Are we ready? wonder if it's worked. Please work. Oh, wow. <gasps> Shut the front. Oh, I love those petals. The bronze didn't do exactly what I wanted it to do. I was hoping it would just sit on these. See these little little raised points? I was, sit, I was hoping it would just sit on those, but it's, it's cascaded over them. Oh, I love it. Got a little bit of the teal popping through here, and then my little bit of... Yeah, I'm glitter in the middle. It's in the middle. It's always a bonus when it's in the middle. Now, the purple. Okay, kind of lost the purple, but you can you can kind of see it between between the petals. Oh, I love it, you guys. And here was I thinking it was going to be terrible. Oh, wow. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, let's go for a little walk around the studio with it. I've just done my nails. They're a bit wet still. So I've got to be careful. Do you like my new, do you like my new nails? <laughs> do you like my nails? Mm, greens today. I did knock that one though. Oh, don't you hate it when you've just done it and you've knocked it? Knocked it. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. All right, here we go. Now, it looks, through here, it looks more blue. The teals always look more blue. I don't know what it is, but teals always look more blue than than what they are. It's it's more of a, mm, almost a mint green. I, I don't know if I can correct it for you at all. I, I don't know. Um, I'll try, but it, yeah, it's, it has definitely got more of a, a minty blue, a minty green kind of a, a shade to it. Don't know if you can pick that up. Oh, I'm so happy with it, you guys. Love it. All right. Go back around here. Um, I don't know that I can show you any in any better light. Oh, maybe maybe if I go over here towards the door and stand. Oh, see the bit of light down there? I'm going to get all the way down there. I'm going to get, okay, hang on. I'm going to get down. Get down on my knees. All right. Now, can we see can we see the shimmer of that bronze? I'm hoping I can show you the shimmer. Shimmer shimmer. Go away, fly. Can you hear the fly? <laughs> they always come near the windows, don't they? Okay, I know there's a big shadow there, but look, I wanted to show you the the shimmer. Alright. Might as well say goodbye here. Thank you so much for watching. Let's put my hand in front of the camera. I will see you all again real soon for the next video. Oh my gosh. Hope you like this one.
Take care. Go away, fly. Your days are numbered. I'm coming for you right now. Bye for now.